That's weird to see a raccoon out in this <laughs> daylight. He's a little guy. Hey. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, look, he's back. He's back eating again. Holy crap, look at the size of him. He looks huge. He's bigger than the last one. Oh, my God. Hey, big fishy. Yeah, he's, he's a little bit bigger. I, I was wrong. That's why there's like this big hole in the weeds. They come right here and they eat right there. It better be dry. Yes, finally, it's dry. Look at that corner, boy, it came out good. Came out good. I gotta paint all this, get this battery out of here. It's bald spot under that battery. This is just first coat, no texture. Yeah, that's still a little tacky, probably because it's in the sun right there. So you can see my old texture. And that was from stippling the resin mostly. You know, as you're rolling the resin out, it'd get and start to tack up. You just keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it and make that little texture. Yeah, I wanna get this battery up front, probably the tank under there. I mean, that tank, primer bowl, you know, black, it's hot, sitting in the sun. That ought to reach, I hope. That doesn't go all the way to the motor, then I'm gonna have to get connections mounted somewhere. Yeah, they're not gonna make it. Just gotta wait. All right, so let's see. Here's my power up here. And then... Runs all the way down. No, it's not going to make it. It wasn't too, too long ago I topped it off. And this battery looked 1016. <laughs> My sister, it, they bought it for the Hurricanes for a little backup 12 volt. I don't think they, they ever even used it. And it sat and sat and sat in her garage. And she said, yeah, you can have it. It's a Everstart Walmart, baby. And it's gonna be cheaper to do all this than it would be to go out and buy a new battery because this one's getting cooked. All right, I just walked home, got these two pieces of PVC pipe. Another freebie dumpster diving. And I wiped it down real quick with a little acetone. Makes it nice and clean, takes the lettering off and everything. Mount it up there. Like that one over there, I've got screws and nuts holding that big piece up. Right now, I think for this, I'll just throw some zip ties on it. All right, it's in there. You can't even see it from up here. And then originally too, what I wanted to do, rod holders in there, and I wanted to have that carpeted in there. Well, I think I finally scrounged up enough stuff locally here to put those cables together. Boats, RVs, anything in those departments, man. It's so freaking expensive. So this is just a quick mock-up. I did clean the terminals off and put new terminals on. So there it is. Like I say, it's just a mock-up. See what kind of box I end up with. Hopefully, you know, they got like eight inch freaking boxes. You know, get all this crap in the box. Get, you know, try to maybe, yeah, get this in the box if it'll reach. Just a mock-up. Oh, I gotta hook the battery up and go get the tank. Uh, clean the terminals too. Uh, on the battery and on the cables. Ugh. Primer bulbs pumped. Uh oh. Shit, don't tell me. It's not gonna do it. It's not gonna work. The farther the battery's away, the less power it's gonna get. I was worried about that. Let me make sure I tighten these up good. Yeah, see, I was in a hurry. That thing wasn't tight. Oh, man, I didn't even tighten them. I knew I did something wrong. Hopefully, that's just going to be the problem. Oh, look at that, man. How can I... Unbelievable. It's a real life saga, baby. Don't hold nothing back around here. Uh oh, I know what happened. I started talking to Tracy. He's like, oh, that looks cool, man. I lost my train of thought, I guess.
No, that didn't help. Oh, I hear thunder. Damn it. Still not enough guts. Unless I screwed it up just now. <sighs> well, thunder's coming. I'm not going out anyway. It's right there, close enough to whack me in this metal boat right now. For this kind of setup, I may have to use two batteries. 12.38. That 12.38 is low. What I just did will make it low. I just charged it up. A few days it's been now. It's not going to kick at 12.3. It's hot though. Not as hot as it was. Alright, I think I'm going to get out of here. The thunder's getting closer and closer. So nothing happened. The thing just barely got to us. It barely sprinkled and it split in half. It went right around us like Moses part in the Red Sea. Alright, so I just put this puppy on here like this. Let's see what happens. See? Wire's too long. Come on, baby. Oh, I don't have the gas tank hooked up. It's going to take me two batteries to run that far. Uh, let me get the meter just to see where that battery's at right now. Wee's at 12.33. It's even lower than it was because I just yanked more voltage out of it. You know, I have to take it out here and run the piss out of it to get the voltage up. This battery should be put on the charger to really do a deep cycle charge. I don't know if it's going to work with the cables or not after a deep cycle charge. And like I said, I don't have a problem putting two batteries in here because that'll take care of my other problem where I have to, you know, I just hate lugging in batteries around when I want to use the trolling motor. So if they're already in here, I'm like, cool, man. Crank up the motor, get where I want to go, switch it over to 24 volt. Bing, bang, boom. I also wanted to try to get my tank under there. And I mentioned that, if, is it gonna work with a longer hose? to Tracy I didn't have the camera rolling it fired right up that's a good thing I'm still gonna take it home though and charge it I think So it works with that cable. Just needed a little charge. Thank God. But I'm still considering the two batteries. At least when I want to use the trolling motor, if I don't go with the two, at least all I have to do is drag one down. Fire right up, boy. So yeah, I put a pretty big dent in it trying to start it on them loose nuts. So the battery charger is putting out 14.68. A little while ago it was at 14.88. Now it's at 67. Yes, I screwed up my connections. No. It, you know, I've got it on manual. Let's see what happens if I flip it to automatic. May not do anything in mid-charge. May have to unplug it and plug it back in. Yeah, it went up a little bit. I just want the fastest charge. Let's go, 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 go. At this point in time, it's been on all night. It was low. Hopefully it's going to maintain and stay good. Distilled in each cell. 
That's back at 14.68. Come on, light. When that little light lights up, it's almost there. It was on the 2 when it came out this morning. Almost there. Whew. All right, my light is on. All right, let me check this battery. See so where I'm at. It should be 13 something volts. 12.9 on money. So that's what they do. They charge up over 14, then settle back down to 12.9. We know it should start. I don't want to go out and run it until I know. That battery could have went bad. I want to know. I don't think it did. But I beat it up pretty good yesterday. I'm trying to crank this thing with loose nuts. And I'm known for my loose nuts. <laughs> That's not good. It doesn't usually do that that many times. Let's see where my voltage is at. Battery or the long cable? You know if I put it on there, it's gonna start right up. Drop down to 12.64. Let's see if we can get it to fire. If, it, if I burn that battery out again, I'm gonna have, I, I won't be able to do this. Not with just one battery. Everything is tight. You know, it was funny the other day I got on my scooter. I hadn't fired it up in a while. Stuck the key in. I'm like, shit. So I went and got gas and everything came back. Filled it up with gas. Put the key in it. Fired right up. Doesn't make any sense sometimes. Yeah, that sounded bit more like it. That's supposed to be the way it goes. Well, let's see what it says. I know what it's going to say. It's going to say 13 something. 13.11. That's it idle. Rev it up. Thirteen point twenty-six. And climbing. And the other thing I found out for two days I was getting a little runny nose, a little sore throaty. And I'm like, why am I getting a runny nose, sore throat? I, I don't ever get anything like that unless I'm spray painting or I get something in my sinuses and crap. I want to see on the news again the Sahara dust storm is over us again. Yeah, that's the reason why. And every time that dust storm comes over us, it holds the, the tropical rains, the, the uh, tropics down, the hurricanes, nothing ever happens. Once that dust storm goes away, it starts happening. So once I get the, the box that I want, this should be good. Uh, I may do some battery swapping around. And I may just bring the two batteries down here anyway. And once I get that done, and it's some kind of situation, then I'll start using my trolling motor again. Instead of trolling fishing all the time. That's why I do so much trolling. Because it's a pain in the ass to drag the batteries down, the trolling motor out of the shed. You know, it's just a big pain he has to set everything up, break it all down at the end of the day, lug everything back home. All I gotta do is grab the trolling motor, boom, I'll be good to go. That's where this thing was going in the beginning anyway, you know. Everything's set up, that was gonna be enclosed, 
But I like it open because it vents through the floor. There's no, you know, the, the front there's got a big opening. Air can get through. What's funny is, if you stick your head under there, the sound of the motor really resonates from under the floor. This floor is about this high off the bottom of the boat. So it doesn't really get wet, maybe condensation or something, or a leak around the corner. But it's all styrofoam. Alright, let's see. Let's see where my battery is. I think I'm going to be alright, I hope. Because I, like I said, I don't want to be stuck out here. 13.15 volts. Alright, let me clean up and get on out of here. I think we're back in business. Back in business. So I got something cool here. See that? Fifth wheel. That's mine now. Hee 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 hee.